Coming up next on The Jeff Crilly Show, we're going to talk to one of the leaders of a growing data center company. She's going to talk about her journey next. Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Crilly, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team. And the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is the Jeff Crilly Show. Well, there are needs for more and more data centers every single day because of the explosion of information. And I learned recently that the cloud has legs. Um, <laughs> it just doesn't sit there in the cloud. It actually has legs to something on the ground. And to protect that data, you, you uh, run into people like my next guest, Jacqueline Miss Pagel. She is the Executive Vice President of Product and Marketing with Evoke. Thanks for yes. coming on the show. Thank you, Jeff, for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah. So we met the other day, and um, I was so impressed with your company and its, um, its rich history. Uh, talk about Evoke. What's, uh, what do you love about the company? Yeah, Evoke is a uh, five-year-old company based here in Dallas in the Irving area. Uh, we are a co-location company, and so what that means is that our customers bring in their uh, mission-critical IT infrastructure and house that in our facility. And the reason they do that is because we have um, an infrastructure that allows them to ensure that their equipment uh, is on, empowered, and running at all times. So we focus on uh, power availability. We have redundant power systems. We offer 100%. We call uptime SLA, and that's a service level agreement, meaning we're so confident that your equipment is going to stay powered on that we guarantee it 100% of the time. Um, and then we also focus on, on cooling. So if you've ever had a laptop in your lap mm -hmm. and it starts getting hot and you hear the fans run, if you put a whole bunch of that stuff right in one building, you can imagine that it's going to get warm in there. So cooling is really important to us as well. Sure. We're going to pull up the, the website. It's a beautiful website, and you have data centers all across the country. How many markets are you in right now? We are in 11 markets, and we have 12 data centers. That's amazing. Yeah. And when did you join the company? I joined in October of 2021, so I've been there right at two years. Wow. And it's a beautiful co company, and I know you're proud of the culture. Um, you're also proud of um, its commitment to women in technology. Talk a little bit about that. Absolutely. Um, you know, I've been in technology my entire career, and I would say it's been challenging being in this line of business because um, it's a male-dominated industry. Um, and so being a woman in technology, we've had some challenges, uh, you know, being able to grow into leadership positions, making sure that our voices and our ideas are heard. And I would say that Evoke is one of those companies where I really felt welcomed. I have been given a platform to express uh, opinions um, and challenge ideas, and it's been a really supportive environment. And you were just uh, uh, asked to serve on a panel. Yes, uh, I was uh, really thrilled to have the opportunity to represent our company at a panel um, in Denver just last week, um, talking about uh, digital infrastructure, networking, edge computing, and artificial intelligence as it relates to data centers. Um, and I would say uh, it was exciting. It was a little bit nerve-wracking because uh, we, uh, you know, I was up there in front of uh, a room that was 80, 90 percent men. Sure. And the fact that my company um, allowed me to go up there and represent them uh, really showed their support for women in technology. You were sharing a story with me. It was kind of a funny story about why data centers are so important. Yes. Um, so when, uh, whenever somebody asks me, you know, why data centers or what do you do for data centers, I like to reflect back into a story that happened to me early on in my career about 20 years ago. I was working for a wireless company, and uh, the BlackBerry phone had just come out. I know I'm kind of dating myself a little bit there, but it was the newest technology, and, you know, a lot of the people who had the newest technology were, you know, high-profile kind of leaders of companies and stuff like that, really demanding customers. And we kept having an outage 
um, on our BlackBerry server uh, around the same time every night, but not exactly the same time. And so we had, we had been troubleshooting for weeks uh, and we were really out of ideas. So we decided to, hey, why don't we have somebody just sit there and look at the server and see if you know it, it flashes any lights or gives us any indication of you know, what might be going on. And so we had somebody sit down in the IT room one evening and uh, lo and behold, the cleaning lady came in and she unplugged the server and plugged in her vacuum cleaner and started cleaning and then unplugged it and plugged it right back in. And so, you know, when you talk about needing, making sure you have uh, secure uh, environments and power availability, you know, that's a, that's a good story of why our customers house their critical infrastructure in a data center versus in their own home office. Absolutely, and they have beautiful facilities. We're gonna show one of them, and as yeah. we show this, um, it's really something of a fortress, isn't it? I mean, th these are solid, solidly built buildings. Absolutely, yeah, when you uh, enter a data center, you know, sometimes you don't even know it's a data center, right? They're, they're typically not really well marked, right? We try to have a little bit of anonymity mm -hmm. um, about the building. Uh, but when you walk in, you're going to be in a secure area. You have to check in with a security guard. We have things like biometric readers, card readers, um, things called man traps where you have to go in one door and that door has to shut behind you before you're allowed to go into the next door. Um, you can see a lot of the critical infrastructure in the video um, is, is surrounded by locked cages, sure. uh, locked cabinet doors. So it's really protecting their environment from anybody, you know, tampering with it. Um, or you know, ensuring that the, the, the infrastructure is secure. Absolutely, and, and there's something of a gold rush when it comes to data, isn't there? I mean, this is a great time to be in the data center business. Oh, absolutely. Right now we're seeing a boom because of uh, the, the surge of artificial intelligence and machine learning. You know, if anybody's out there using chat GPT, those are running on servers that are in a data center. Um, and we are seeing an explosive growth because those that compute power can't be uh, managed in the cloud right now. There's very few cloud resources out there that can support uh, the level of compute power that's needed for artificial intelligence and machine learning. So the equipment has to go into a data center um, and we are well equipped for that. Uh, they're very powerful computers that need a lot of power and need to make sure that they stay in, in a controlled environment where it's cooled and allows them to operate effectively. Outstanding. We've got a couple minutes left. So mm -hmm. final thoughts, what would you like to leave people with? Um, I'd like to say that, you know, I, I'm very excited to talk about data centers. I know it's not one of the most exciting uh, things out there, but it's one of those things that everybody uses every day and they don't realize it, right? When you're sending text messages, when you're pulling up uh, Amazon and you're, you know, buying something online, uh, you know, all of those types of things, they're all routing back to a data center somewhere. So this is an exciting business to be in. And I'd love to see more women uh, in, enter into the, the field of data center and technology. And uh, I appreciate the opportunity to talk about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Well, thank you. We're going to leave yeah. with the website, which is evokedcs.com. Uh, the great Jacqueline, Miss Pagel. Thanks for coming on the show. Thanks for coming. Thanks, yeah. Jeff. I enjoyed it. You bet. That's it for now. We'll see you next time.